Hey everybody, this is Minion Soldier, and this is Ship Updates, and got uh, quite an interesting update. I was kind of going into recording this and thinking, like, ah, great, what? I mean, there's really nothing this week. I mean, Reclaimer, ah, uh, you know, the Cyclone, the Razor, the Aegis Terrapin, we already know about them, we've seen them a hundred times, and you're going to get them, apparently, tomorrow. So 3.1 is going live tomorrow hopefully they've called it in quotes imminent but apparently there's going to be a big event and this is something that you will probably want to know about there's going to be something of a scavenger hunt this weekend so keep an eye on the comm links because the prize for the scavenger hunt is the Aegis Vulcan. The multi-duty refuel repair rearm ship. That is apparently one of the prize. How many are there? Don't know. When are they going to do it? Not sure. This weekend apparently. But that is going to be open to all. So if you want a free Vulcan get in game you might get one i'm not sure what the exact rules are once again we're supposed to keep our eyes on the com links and it's going to be this weekend so there you go <laughs> for those of you who just like to touch in on the news hopefully you saw this maybe get a chance to win yourself a free vulcan I, I wish I knew more about it, but I'm just seeing the email now and going like, oh, I better tell people about that. And yes, finally, I have got something to uh, lead, kick off the show with. So yeah, so 3.1, apparently this weekend or tomorrow, more specifically, hopefully, fingers crossed. What can you expect? So I am going to kind of give you my impressions of what you can expect um of course the ships we already know that um a more stable client well the video that you're looking at now actually is the end point of about an hour's worth of footage now there were some issues earlier on flying uh the aegis reclaimer around and this kind of twilight hour when I was out still searching for a familiar wreck to uh, park the ship at. It, it just kind of looked kind of cool. I really liked it. And even though the frame rates kind of stutter a bit when I'm turning the ship around, it wasn't always this way. It was actually a fair bit smoother. And it does seem that by the time you all get your hands on it, it should be running fairly well and you're probably going to see an overall performance improvement over the existing 3.01 so it is going to be a little bit better now one of the things i want to warn you about immediately is that if you own a reclaimer like me and you're going to land it on a planet anywhere except for probably a landing pad landing pad might still work the elevator to exit the reclaimer currently does not reach the ground <laughs> so the ship um if you get out of it you may not be able to get back into it <laughs> There's a, just a little a little minor issue now hopefully they have this corrected by the time you all get it but currently and this is of course friday when i recorded this it is still an issue so something to keep an eye on and just be aware of if you decide to take this bad boy out for a spin. Now you might be sitting there and you might be worried and saying, oh yeah, well I heard about how it was on the PTU and everyone was just pulling out reclaimers, reclaimers, reclaimers. I couldn't get a reclaimer on the landing pads. Everyone was taking up all the landing pads with reclaimers. The truth is that by the time it gets to the live version, only the people who actually own reclaimers are going to be able to pull out reclaimers, so you won't really have to worry about that. But you will be competing with those landing pads with Caterpillar owners and with Starfarer owners, so it still might be a bit of an issue and something to concern yourself with. But overall, I mean, if you're like me and you kind of play at the odd hours, then you should be pretty okay. 
Now, another issue that may frustrate you going into 3.1, if it persists from the current build, it is uh, <laughs> keyboard mappings and the keyboard map, like if you have advanced, say, keyboard controls, um, the mapped keys listed on that visual map of the keys uh, does not correspond to the key mapping at all. Uh, there's a lot of things that are just not disconnected. So if you're used to hitting three for lights, four for engines, five for overall like reactor, like switching the ship on. Yeah, those don't work. In fact, five turns the lights on, even though the key map lists it as still being the way it was. So hopefully by the time you all get the build, it will be resolved. But if it isn't, you're going to have to go in and manually set those keys uh, even after you transfer over to advanced keyboard controls. So that is something that you're going to have to, uh, you know, you're going to have to make sure that you check. And so if you're going in and you're changing your key mappings and it's still not working, do make sure that you have transferred over to advanced keyboard controls as well before changing all the key mappings and saying, oh my God, these don't work. There, you're going to run into some issues there. In the end, I do think you should download it and give it a shot. Not just for experience playing the game and some of the other reasons I've given in the past, but we're not really sure what this scavenger hunt for a free Vulcan entails. We're not really sure what is, or at least I haven't seen the details yet as of recording this video. But, I mean, I think it's safe to say that they're not just going to say, go here, go here, go here, go here, go there, and boom, you get a free Vulcan. If they were just giving away free Vulcans that easily, I think all the people who just paid for Vulcans would be just a, a, a wee bit pissed, just a little bit, maybe. Uh, <laughs> so I don't think that they're just going to give them away for free, and so there's probably going to be something of a contest involved probably but once again i don't know i'm just guessing here i might be wrong uh so but the only way to really fail to ensure failure is to never try so why not give it a shot i mean this runs better than the previous uh 3.0.1 at least even in the ptu version currently it runs a heck of a lot smoother so why not give it a shot if you can and uh you know try who knows, you might walk away with a free Vulcan, like crazier things have happened, you know. Sometimes the most impossible odds happen when you least expect them. I mean, there's there's a number of things that I, I you know, rare mounts and shit that I've won that I had I had no expectation of getting. And one day it was just like, oh great, look what I got. <laughs> now I get to tease somebody about it, nobody in particular, but, you know. So just give it a shot. Um, Give the game a chance. Give it, a, give it a download, and uh, you know, give it a try this weekend. Who knows? You might walk away with a free ship. Anyways, that's the show for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. So, 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 so if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in the Star Citizen and Squadron 42's development, please follow us, please follow us, please follow us on our social media channels. See you soon.